point of view. <laughs> and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Learn to work and library. There are so many books to read and great things to find out, but the best thing about the library is it's quiet. Arthur! Except on days when I have to bring D.W. What is this word say? The. Another great thing about the library is I can check out all these books. Arthur! What is it now? What does this word say? Red. To take books out of the library, you need a library card. But it's easy to get one of those. All you have to do is... Arthur! What? How about this word? Dog! The red dog, okay? Got it? And stop being so noisy. See the sign? It says no talking. If I can't read the red dog, how do you expect me to read that sign? Well, just go pester someone else. I'm busy. Where was I? Oh, yeah. All you need to do to get a library card is... Shh. The sign says, no talking. DW's library card. And he published a rondo in C minor when he was only 15 years old. DW, <laughs> stop bugging Binky. It's time for your puppet show in the kids section. I wasn't bugging him. Binky was reading to me about Chopin, the great romantic composer. No, I wasn't. Uh, his name was Chopin, and he was a karate master. You weren't listening. Sorry if my sister was bothering you. It's okay. Little kids should hear about important stuff, like karate. Ooh, Arthur, look! A book on frogs. Take it out for me. Hop along the frog? Forget it! But it's about frogs. Please, 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 please. I can't take out baby books on my library card. It could go on my permanent record. Warning! Reader is a baby! Adult books are off limits! Sorry, Arthur. The last book you took out was Hop Along the Frog. From now on, you can only take out Baby Buck! Baby Buck! Baby Buck! Baby Buck! Arthur's a baby! Arthur's a baby! Arthur's Sorry, D.W. There's just too much at stake. Yeah? Well, someday I'm gonna get my own library card. Then I'll take out whatever I want. Are there any questions? When will we be old enough to get our own library cards? You are old enough, D.W. I am. I'll take one. No, make that two. I want more cards than Arthur. I want one. Oh, Settle down, children. You can all have one. You just have to be able to write your full name. I knew there was a catch. We can write our names. But my full name is Dora Winifred Reed. I hardly ever say it. How can I write it? You have it easy. Be glad you're not Aloysius Zimmer plots. Oh, no. I ran out of room again. And when I have my own library card, I'm going to get Hop Along the Frog. And you can't do anything about it. But you can't read. Miss Turner didn't say that you had to read to take out books. You just have to write your full name. You can't do that either. I know, but I'm going to learn. You'll see. <laughs> Dopa 
Minifred Reapid? Who's that? I can't do it. There are too many letters in my name. Why didn't you name me something simple, like A? You seem to have Dora Winifred down. Quick, Dad, more mashed potatoes! I wrote my name. I wrote my name! Look out, world! D.W. Reed writes! Dora Winifred Reed. Dora Winifred Reed. I bet D.W. messes up her name and doesn't get her library card. Yeah, she can't even spell D. I can, too. I've already spelled it a hundred times. It's time to get in line. What if the tables are right? What if I forget my own name? What is my name? I forgot it! I forgot my name! Good luck, D.W. Oh, yeah, D.W. But what does that stand for? I can't remember. Very nice. Dora Winifred Reed. Here's your card. Look, Arthur. You didn't think I could do it, but I did it. And now I can take out any book I want. Now I know what true power feels like. Hey, where's Hopalong the Frog? It was here just a couple of days ago. It's probably back on the shelves. Ask for it at the front desk. Sorry, that book was just checked out. It should be back a week from today. A whole week? I can't wait that long. It could come back before then, but Saturday is when it's due. Come on, D.W. Okay. Is it back yet? Nope. How about now? Uh-uh. Nope, it's not in yet. You got mail. Not yet, DW. Mm. Not yet, DW. What if Saturday never comes? What if we go right from Friday to Sunday? Are there leap weeks like leap years, Arthur? Relax. It's only 12 hours away. Now let me sleep. Wake up, Arthur. Tomorrow's today, and today is yesterday. Oh? Huh? It's Saturday. But it's 6.30. The library isn't even open yet. I know, but we have to be the first ones there. Here's your cereal. But it has to be here. You said Hopalong the Frog was due today. But it might be late. Late? Call the police. Why don't you just take out some other baby book? I want Hopalong the Frog. And it's not a baby book. Well, I'm not gonna spend my whole Saturday here. Fine, go home. I'll just tell mommy that you left me here all alone. <gasps> huh? Arthur, look, somebody's returning a big book. This might be it. The name's Dora Winifred Reed. Is that a book on frogs? Uh, no, it's Chippy the Choo Choo. Oh, it'll never come. Hi, D.W. <gasps> you had the book. I should have known. Ah, you heard it. It's all wrinkly. It was like that when they took it out. It's an old book. We would never hurt a library book. If you do, they'll take away your library card forever. Really? Here you go. Take good care of it. Or else. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this moment. <gasps> ah! What have I done? You can never have another library card again. But I worked so hard for that card. More books for us. More books for us. have a library card I told you <laughs> it's not fair it's not fair 
I know you're just gonna bug me all night to read you that book, so let's get it over with now. No! I mean, you've done enough for me already, Arthur. Maybe later. Huh? I knew it. You forgot what today is. No, I didn't. It's Saturday. You're supposed to return your library book today. It's today? I thought it would never come. Why are you wearing oven mitts? To keep the book safe. It's a book, DW. It's not going to explode. How was it anyway? I don't know. I never opened it. I was afraid I'd lose my library card. Why would you lose your library card? Because the table said if you heard a book, they take away your library card forever. And look at it, Arthur. It's an old book. It could fall apart any minute. I'll open it if you're so worried. Hey, I took this book out. See, that's my name. You used to have to write your name here whenever you took a book out. This is the very first book I ever took out of the library. My first book! My first book! You took out a baby book? It isn't a baby book. I love this book. It's great for little kids. Here, listen to this. Hop along the frog, hopped onto a log, and the log started floating away. The end. <laughs> What's wrong, D.W.? It was a happy story. Didn't you like it? I loved it. I'm just sad I had to return it now. Yeah, but you can take it right out again. It's called Renewing a Book. I can? Arthur's going to read it to me every single day. Twice a day. Once in the morning and once at night. And then I'm going to renew it again and again and again and again and again. What have again I done? And again and again. for years. There's no way I can lose. And the challenger, Dora Winifred rocket plane, the plane that broke the sound barrier. The sound barrier must be pretty hard because this plane is all smashed up. It's not smashed. I'm going to build it. Stop touching everything. You'll mix up the pieces. I've never heard of toys that come already broken. I'm going. Never say I don't go when you want me to go because I'm going. Like that. The minute you want me to go, I'm on my way out of here. No waiting. Go already. And if you say please, I go even faster because when the... <laughs> Is that the same broken plane you were fixing yesterday? Don't do that. I need to concentrate. That's a pretty color. Ah! <laughs> Bye! I've been working on the plane all week. It's hard, but I'm almost done. DW, don't touch that! The paint isn't dry! Ew! 
Mommy, Arthur made my hands orange! I never thought about it before, but being an only child is nice. It's the best thing I ever made! Arthur Reed, you win the blue ribbon. This calls for a celebration snack. Did I hear you say cookies? Good boy. DW Reed to headquarters. Sound barrier broken. What's my next mission, General? There's a good breeze today, General. Arthur Reed, winner of 5,000 blue ribbons, requesting landing coordinates. <laughs> Arthur, you made that plane all wrong. It doesn't fly at all. No, DW, I made it exactly right. What? <laughs> the sound barrier. Falling out of a window shouldn't be able to break it. I told you not to touch it! You built it all wrong! Did you even read the directions? It didn't fly for one second! It's not my fault if you made a plane that can't fly. I told you not to touch it! <laughs> Arthur Timothy Reed, come here! Uh-oh. Middle name. <laughs> Are they gonna have to amputate my arm? No, honey, it's amputate, not amputate. They're gonna amputate? No, I'm in charge and I'm putting ice on it. <laughs> What's wrong? That's cold. Apologize to your sister. No way! She should apologize to me. I worked all week on this. I told her a million times not to touch it. You're bad. Arthur, this means no TV for a week. What? That is so unfair. You don't even care what she did to me. We'll deal with what she did, but what you did is wrong, too. So I missed Bionic Bunny last night, and I can't watch TV all week. Can you believe that? No, I don't believe it. You hit your sister? That's terrible. Oh, come on. Like, you never hit anybody. Nope. Did you hear that? Arthur hit his sister. I, for one, am shocked. How could you be shocked about someone hitting someone? Why not? You're Pinky Barnes. You always... You know, I can't remember the last time you hit anybody. Well, what do you mean? There's the bell. <laughs> Don't want to be late. So when was it, Bink? Binky does not have to remind us of his past glorious fights. That's right. That he is afraid of no one is a well-established factoid. That's right. And he can prove it easily by socking the very next kid who turns that corner. That's right. What? Go ahead, Binky. Sock him. Maybe I don't feel like it. You better feel like it or you're out of the club. I can't be out of the club. It's my club. I founded it. If you wanted everything your own way, you shouldn't have let anyone else join. The next time you see that kid, you sock him. The next time I see Arthur, I have to hit him. Oh, what can I do? Hey, what if I never see him? Arthur, why didn't you just apologize? Oh, come on! She wrecked my plane! Why can't anybody see my side of this? Ah, uh, because you're wrong. Hey, Binky, did you hear that Arthur hit his little sister? Well, I haven't seen Arthur. As far as I know, Arthur isn't even here. Binky's so upset about what Arthur did that he won't even look at him. When the day and night are of equal length, it's called the equinox. You sock that kid yet? Haven't seen him. 
I am so smart. Psst. Hey, is Arthur in there? Yeah. Uh, I'll just eat outside then. Binky won't even eat near Arthur. That's awful. We should bring them together. Arthur will thank us. Binky's out here somewhere. Uh, I'll get it. Thanks. Binky? What are you doing? Avoiding Arthur. If I don't see him, I don't have to hit him. Oh. Why would you want to hit Arthur? I don't. That's why I don't want to see him. Hmm. Boys. Is Arthur in there? No. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. She broke my plane. But she's just a little girl. Saying D.W. is just a little girl is like saying a tornado is just a little wind. Hey, Arthur, over hey, here! Shh. What are you doing? Thought someone called my name. I made it through one whole day. Now only the rest of my life to go. So I never saw that glasses kid again. Probably never will. Hey, Binky! You dropped your pen when you ran out of school, kind of sideways at the end of the day. Here's the chance you've been waiting for. Show her, Binky. Pop him one. Ow! Okay, you're right. He will hit anybody. All right, Binky. You're still in the club. Binky? Where are you going? Hey, Binky! Ow! And the next thing I knew, I was on the ground. It hurt and it was embarrassing. And... Well, maybe that's how DW felt when you punched her. Maybe. But what's that got to do with this? Binky Barnes is huge! Yeah, I guess I get it. I'm sorry I hit you. And I'm sorry I broke your plane. But what kind of a stupid plane doesn't fly? A model plane? Well, I didn't know. I'm just a child. Give me a break. Arthur, hey, I feel rotten. I, I want to apologize. I just want to thank you. You... you what? Everybody told me I was wrong and I didn't get it. But you made me understand how bad I made D.W. feel. Well, you're welcome. But I wouldn't try to help you learn some boring lesson. It was an accident. It's the kid who got hit by Binky and lived. You deserve to be in our club, kid. There is no club. I founded it, and I'm de-founding it. Any club that makes you do something you don't want to do is dumb. Anybody want to make something of it? Um, no. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get a soda. Oh, man. Now we've got no club. Ah! You guys want to come with us? How about we form a new club with no dumb hitting and stuff? And if anybody breaks that rule, I'll club her up. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. It's a simple message. For well, that's the place to start. Start and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful.